Today I'm going to show you how to use Ableton or whatever DAW that you have to trigger a sysx command to go out to your gear. Um, today I'm actually sending a trigger uh, sysx command out to my interface. It actually switches from scene A to scene B. I'm using an iConnectivity Play Audio 12 uh, and basically I want to switch from computer A to computer B and I want to have the trigger right in my Ableton session. So there's one program that you're going to need for this guy to actually make this happen. I'm using a sysx librarian right here. Um, it's by a company called Snoise. Download that. Um, this only works on Mac. Uh, so just heads up if you're here from Windows. But So let's jump into it. Um, so basically the first thing I need to do is create a clip uh, where I want a MIDI clip as to where I want things to switch over. So I'm actually going to, I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to hit Command Shift T, which creates a MIDI track in Ableton. And then I'm going to select a little section right here, double click, and it creates a clip. I'm going to create a program change. Uh, for this example, I am going to put it on program change three. Um, now let's go into Ableton preferences. I'm hitting Command comma to actually jump into the preferences. Uh, so go to link in MIDI. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, and you can see that we don't have uh, the six. We want the sysx librarian option right here, so we can turn the track on. So we had to open that program first to make that work. So in sysx librarian, I'm going to go to preferences, and we're going to need to make some preference changes. So I'm just going to kick this all the way back just to make it as quick as possible. Transmission speed should all be 100 anyway. We're going to go to program change and this is the most important part. Hit listen for program changes. And I don't know if you've seen that but when I clicked on this this little list over in Ableton got a little bit bigger. So if I go back over to Ableton scroll to the bottom you can see that sysx librarian is there and you'll want the track on for sysx librarian. And that's all we need to do in the Ableton side of things. Now, sysx librarian, we're going to have to say where we want this information sent. Um, so in my case, I'm going to send it to HST1, which is the first port on my Play Audio 12. Now, this could be a piece of hardware that you have connected or whatever you want. But this is your destination. This is where you want that info to go to. So if you want to change uh, scenes on like a guitar pedal or any piece of hardware, this is what you want to do. Um, so you can either drag the file in or you can hit the plus button right here. I'm going to do apply scene part two. So I I'm on computer A and I want to switch to scene two or computer two. So I'm going to put that in here and this is the correct destination that I want to go to. Um, then over here you can see this little program. This, this program column showed up when I changed the preferences in SysX librarian. So slowly double click, very slowly, or you'll play it. And you can see now I'm able to edit this. So I'm actually going to type in um, program change 2 on here. And the reason it's a lower number than Ableton is because sysx librarian starts at sysx number 0, whereas Ableton starts at 6s1. If you notice when I changed the program, it would start at 1 instead of 0. This one actually starts at 0. So we have to go one less in here than we do over here. So now if I actually go over and play this audio. It still hasn't played yet. And the reason it hasn't played yet is because I haven't added the MIDI out. Sorry. So the, the MIDI channel needs to go out to that sysx librarian and we can just send it to channel 1. So we'll go back here. And you've seen it play and you probably heard a little bit of the audio but it cut out because on scene B I don't have that routing made. And that's how you set it up. If you have any questions let me know.